the campus at Utah State University is almost empty after classes were moved online due to COVID-19. But the work USU researchers are doing on deadly viruses like COVID-19 cannot stop. The scientists at USU's Institute for Antiviral Research work with the National Institute of Health to develop and evaluate preclinical antiviral drugs. So before a, a drug can go on and be tested in humans, it needs to be evaluated in animals. It is part of the investigational new drug application required by the FDA. So we will push that preclinical development as far as we can, and we've had a number of successes here. Tarbit and other USU researchers just received two and a half million dollars from NIH to develop animal models that will aid the work in creating medical countermeasures against COVID-19. With regards to the model development, uh, what we're most interested in again is identifying clinical signs in the animals that will be similar to that seen in people. They're not that comfortable, I can tell you that. So with regards to this, uh, the COVID, which is the COVID-19, which is really the disease produced by the SARS uh, CoV-2 virus. It's a respiratory disease, acute meaning rapid onset, uh, breathing difficulties. And so these are some of the typical clinical signs that we'll be looking for in the animal. And then with, with regards to antiviral drug evaluation, vaccine evaluation, we'll be looking for decreases in those clinical signs in treated animals. Tarbit says new discoveries are made every day, but the virus is spreading fast. Uh, what is surprising about this virus is how rapidly it has evolved and spread around the world. I've been involved with infectious diseases for 25 years. This is probably my fourth or fifth time now I've been involved in an emerging disease, uh, developing vaccines or antivirals to it, but none of them have moved this rapidly. It's really quite remarkable the, the times that we're living in in this pandemic that it's almost daily that we're seeing changes, it's almost daily that new discoveries are being made and you know we're trying to respond as rapidly as we can. The government is trying to respond as rapidly as they can, but there still are many things that we don't know the answer to. Uh, so I've been, over the past 14 years, I've had the, the opportunity to work with the pandemic influenza, the swine flu that came out in 2009. Uh, we were involved in enterovirus D68, which was a little bit less well known in 2014. And we've also been involved with uh, Zika virus testing in 2016. Now Hearst is working to find a solution to COVID-19. He and other scientists are giving an extra effort to stop the spread of misinformation online. He says scientists don't usually speak out until they have all the facts, but with rumors and misinformation spreading faster than the virus, Hearst says experts need to take a stand. For the coronavirus, I have been impressed that more scientists have stepped forward and have said, this is something that we need to take seriously and this is something that, that we need to address. And I think as we, we listen to our, our public health officials and as we follow that guidance, that helps keep us protected from those, those dangers.